a major part of your life must be hidden in the secret place Anna the prophet has taught us how to bring things down whoever can bring Jesus down from heaven can bring any other thing from the realm of the spirit to this realm Anna the prophetess the same thing consistently do you know how many of you got born again ask your mothers mama was not a powerful christian she didn't know much but every night 12 on the dot no matter what your discussion is she has to go and meet with god god i cannot sing but use one of my children 1981 she prayed it 1985 she prayed it 1990 she prayed it and while you were on your way strolling to the club the angel that was sent to defend that sacrifice there are angels that defend sacrifices this is why the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong yeah he reproved kings there are angels sacrifices substance in the spirit it can be defended by the jealousy of god that's why god does things for people for the sake of others are you learning something tonight so when you pray in the spirit it's not just that you are on your way to become an emoji no it's not just you are on your way to become a woman of god you are converting relationship to power and to the final product it can be a job it can be whatever prayer is not just for deliverance alone the primary assignment of prayer is for fellowship and intimacy and so while it is night no noise you are alone with god there's worship just like this playing lord just to let you know that i love you i'm available to be used by god and there are angels watching there are demons watching the demons that stop your family are also watching they are witnesses of your sacrifice May God deliver this our generation from laxity and unseriousness. Someone looks at you and says, I am your boss. I promise you except this is not my company, you will be fired. Don't fight. If you fight physically, you are not wise. Remember, in the Bible and through history, believers don't just fight physically yet. They go to the realm of the spirit while that man is sleeping you are programming your climate that man is sleeping and is having a vision of a warning yes beware that lady you see is not just a clerk there is a covenant on her life behave yourself he will get up he won't tell you he had the dream he just says how are you this morning i hope you everything have you eaten are you all right our excessive lamentation is proof that we do not know how to correct things in the spirit your church is not growing and you are wondering why and you go back and the spirit of god comes upon you his power comes and the lord says you are missing it here you are not getting it here there is a principle you do not understand this is a generation that only understands power nobody will just believe in you for nothing believe me people need real results in their lives if you are in ministry here or you are going into ministry please hear me among the many things that you need is true spiritual power genuine power that produces real results otherwise get ready for empty pews hallelujah is someone ready to pray we're going to take 10 minutes and we're going to pray in the spirit now hear me be sensitive to the holy ghost as you pray for many of you as you are praying the first revival tonight is your prayer life and your relationship with the holy ghost suddenly you will find out that your all these appetites that continue to eat up your time are suddenly going away are we together are you ready to pray
lift your voice and begin to cry to the Lord in one minute Abraham waited 25 years for this boy called Isaac to come it was easy for him to give up Ishmael because he was not the child of promise but when Isaac came Genesis 22 he was told that he should take Isaac he said Abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest I know you love him that's the reason why I need him and the Bible says let me have one more person we are planning to round up now any guy any gentleman anybody come watch this at the command of God Abraham takes his only son do you know what it means to wait 25 years for a miracle do you know what it takes 25 years and God says this son has become an idol he stands between me and you he stands between you and prophecy and I want him to die because I want to be lifted alone in your life take this son Abraham took his son and while he began to walk imagine the pain he did not discuss with his wife his wedding his marriage was at stake yes, I mean uh, Sarah could leave him do you know the community can say Abraham went to sacrifice his son for power and sin Abraham said it doesn't matter what they say Lord this is your son and while he was taking him the servants were wondering every time we go to offer a sacrifice we take a lamb but where is the lamb and when they got to the base of the mountain he told them wait because for you to give up everything there are some people who will stop you you have to keep them and say wait I know you are my friend but this height I'm climbing now I don't need you in this journey and when he he took Abraham he took Isaac he got to that point and Abraham and Isaac said father I see the wood I see the knife where is the lamb and he said Jehovah Jireh you are that lamb I love him I love you son you came from my loins I know what it took your mother I face embarrassment but at his beck and call even you you will go everybody say passion everybody say desire everybody say love imagine Abraham tying his son and Isaac was saying father I thought you told me when I was five years you loved me and tears were streaming down the eyes of Abraham and he said Isaac I still love you but there is one who has stolen my heart I must demonstrate my love for him and Abraham said I will kill you imagine Isaac saying please don't kill me and he said son I don't know how to explain to people but I love him more take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything listen that's what Abraham said take my everything I release my everything you have my everything use my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything listen for many of us in this place this represents your passion for anointing some of us this represents the lust and the appetite tonight like Abraham I have come to call you to give up your Isaac what you have been given is Ishmael that's why you gave it freely give God permission to take Isaac tonight and when he takes Isaac you will find out that no matter what they call you pride cannot have a place in your life again because you attain that rest 
called Galatians 2 20. When Isaac dies, no matter what they call you, you will say, I'm a dead man. Dead men don't die twice. I have been crucified in Christ. Nevertheless, yet not I. I can, if God says, empty your account, you will say amen and do it immediately. Without thinking, no banking and casting. If God says for two years, don't take a job, just wait with me. You say, Lord, no matter how foolish I look, the answer is yes, sir. Tonight, hear me, standing between you and your prophetic destiny is this Isaac. Standing between you and the next level of the miraculous in your life. Standing between you and that prophetic dimension you want to enter. Standing between you and a new order of prosperity and grace is this. But tonight, you must get to a point where you say, I give my everything. I release my everything. Take my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me. I was in a meeting in Kaduna and the presence of God was so mighty the spirit of repentance came upon the people and while we were praying this song came to my spirit the very song you hear me sing I didn't know how to articulate my passion and I felt like communicating it in a song it's not a special number it's a confession of the depth of my heart if you stand between me and God, you have lost. I love him more than money. I love him more than fame. In life and in death. If no sick body ever gets killed, I love him more than that. If God is speaking to somebody, I'm showing you the path to spiritual power. I'm showing you the path that will open your eyes to the depth of the spirit. Tomorrow I'll be showing us certain things that will prepare us. But tonight, God wants your heart. He's saying, give me your heart. You have been giving me your hand. I don't want your money tonight. I want your heart. Because you love men more than me. You love women more than me. You love ministry more than me. You love jobs. You want to be a celebrity. How many of us tonight will say, Lord, I want to give you my Isaac. You have my everything. Take my everything like I did. I release my everything. Take my everything. Take, take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. You all of me. All of me, Lord. Anoint my everything, prune my everything, change my everything. I give my everything, say, take all of me, all of me. Come on, jump up on your feet and cry. the spirit of true repentance to break in this place I don't know how you are going to cry before God but I want you to say Lord I have been giving you Ishmael tonight I know I'm a man of God but I hide my pride and I say take the Isaac go ahead and cry
Us a question while you pray. Will you give your life away? That's what he's asking you tonight. Will you give your life away? So he can use you. Will you give your time away? That's what he's asking you tonight. Will you give
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is going to be a move of the Spirit in this place shortly. I see the angel of the Lord walking in this place. There will be a separation of men. But listen. The Spirit of God is strong in this place. There will be a fresh baptism and initiation into the depth of spiritual things. Ah, Elohim. Very simple song. Yes, yes. everybody because I see the angels of the Lord moving listen 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 to me hear me listen the fire of God is going to engulf a few people tomorrow we'll have more time to minister but there are some of you that will come under the influence of the spirit it's a separation of fire at the count of three I want you to, all of you to shout that name Jesus. At the sound of that name, the Holy Ghost will come mightily upon some of you. It's an impartation you will not recover from. Let me have all those people on stage here. Father, let your spirit cause a separation. In the name of Jesus, let men drink of the wine of the spirit. Are you ready now? One, two, three.
Please follow me. Let there not be too much noise so that I can hear myself. Hallelujah. There are some of you, what is coming upon you right now is a fresh hunger for spiritual things. Now I will pray for everybody, but there are specific people. Right from my front here, right to the back, there are angels walking. As I speak right now, they will begin to touch people. Please, whether you are an usher or not, whether you are an usher or not, don't let people just tumble around. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, let the angels begin to touch the people. Right now, 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 right now. Touch them. and gifts. We're going to have time to minister to the sick tomorrow. There's no time for that. Our time is up. But there's just one last thing the Lord wants to do. Lift your hands. I don't know why I hear the Spirit of God ministering this to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shekaleka Ratosia. Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi, Olua Kemi. Kemi, Olua Kemi. Where is Olua Kemi? Come. Who is Olua Kemi? Where is the person? You are wearing a black hair tie. A black hair tie. Olua Kemi. Who is that? Where is the person? Are you the one? Come. Olua Kemi. Who is Timothy? Timothy. I hear a name Timothy. Timothy. Who is Timothy? Let's take time on Timothy. I hear a name Timothy. Timothy. I don't know if it's your name, your son name, Timothy. Timothy. Malakurandi Kalabayashika. Zufredi Balana Maratusika. Timothy. The Lord still tells me that name. Hallelujah. My dear, look at me. The Lord is bringing a major breakthrough to your family. Do you know me? Have I ever seen you? The Lord is, do you believe what I'm saying? You believe it? The Lord is a major breakthrough. Call your family members and tell them. Before February 16th, a major breakthrough is coming for them. This is what the Lord has said. Hallelujah. 
a major breakthrough is coming for them. I'm not saying, I'm not hiding you, alright? I fear God. If the Lord speaks a word, and look at me, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing hardship, the serious financial hardship in your family. Is that true? There's no mic. No, no mic again. We don't have a mic. Is that true? Is that true? Because as the Lord is revealing to me, I'm standing before you and I'm seeing that there is serious financial hardship. Many people don't know. You are just standing and laughing, but even with you, things are not moving well. But I hear the Lord say, I'm restoring to you the years the canker worm has eaten, the, palm, the caterpillar and the palmer worm. This is what the Lord says. This is what the Lord says, I should tell you, in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a lady whose elder sister has been barren. Your elder sister. Who is that? A lady. Your elder sister. Come out. Because it's time for her to carry. She's going to carry a baby girl. Then a boy. Then another boy. Then a girl. Stand up. Lord Jesus, be glorified alone. And for you, listen to me. God is saying I should tell you that your hunger for him will be filled in this season. This is what God says I should tell you because there is a hunger inside of you. As I speak to you, fire will start burning your hand. I see an angel pouring something like oil upon your hand. It's the fire of the Spirit. is to take you to another dimension of intimacy with the Spirit. Listen to me. I assure you that every power that has tied your destiny in the course of this conference, except the Lord is not God, those powers must be dislodged. Please, make sure nothing makes you miss tomorrow's meeting. I'll just for a while, it's late now because there, as I'm standing there, there are many people that God wants to talk to. There are some eight long captivities. Some of you right before you enter campus and God brought you here is that thing must end. This is what is present. I see someone you spent four years before entering the university. You had an extra year before you graduated. You are here. Who is that? There's, there's somebody like that with this exact description. Who is that? Is there anyone like that? Come. Because if I don't pray for you, it's the same thing that will happen. Because this is a curse. I don't know whether you believe it or not, but this is what I'm saying. This is this is a cause of hardship and stagnation. But who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not instructed? Listen to me. I don't know what it is that you have gone through, but I want you to know that you will step into a dimension of peace. Have you read in the Bible where the Bible says King Ahab ran? And the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He gathered his loins and on bare foot he ran and overtook Ahab even to Israel. I prophesy upon your life in the name that is above all names. Let supernatural speech come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break that curse over your life and over your family and I release you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Is it Dorothy, you or your friend Dorothy? I'm hearing a name, Dorothy. Dorothy. Hallelujah. Do men dare to sin? Do men dare to sin? Because I'm seeing somebody toasting. Who is toasting? For you are a, you are a, is a male. Is there anyone like that? You are wearing white. You folded your hands. The hands of your cloth, if I'm right. Who is that? Huh? There's nobody with that description. You are to come, come, I'll pray for you. And I see this guy fold the hands of his chest. You are toasting. Do you know anybody called Abiodun? Or Biodun? Hold on. Biodun, your friend, yes, a male. Yes, his name is Abiodun. Yes, is that true? No, if I'm lying, just tell me I'm lying. Absolutely. Is that true? Yes, Where is he? He's in school. We have to pray for him. What is he, what is he doing in school? He's studying. He's studying. We have to pray. Are you following me? 
that's your own prayer I'm going to pray for you but if we don't pray for that guy something is going to affect this academic very seriously hallelujah and then I'm going to pray for you where did you apply for a job I've not applied you have not applied so start tendering your application what did you study because I'm seeing a bank I don't know I'm seeing a bank that's why I said start committing your application huh? do you like banks you have, you don't mind all those complaints of whatever God is taking you there to bless you hmm? don't hear what people I don't know you oh, my brother I won't come and implicate myself on nothing are you following me now Let's hold my hands Father in the name of Jesus Christ let this become real in Israel. in Jesus name I release the power of the Holy Ghost upon you that prophecy comes to pass in your life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus let me just speak to one more person my dear look at me Talk to this lady for me. Because her prayer is entering my ears. Talk to her. The power of God is on her. The Lord is saying it is answered. She's talking to the Lord and she's saying, Let the man of God speak concerning me. And the Lord is saying, Respond to this lady before we close. I want to assure you that your prayer is answered. Give Jesus praise. Lift your hands. Father, we glorify you for what you are doing in this city. I speak over your life between this night between this night and tomorrow's morning, tomorrow morning session I command some of you will have supernatural encounters this night take seriously what I'm saying some of you will have encounters with angels this night some of you will have prophetic dreams this night some of you will not even be able to sleep yet you will not be tired some of you, the mystery behind the tragedy of your families will be revealed to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. For many of you tonight, you will find out that your prayer life that has been dead, that you cannot even pray for 10 minutes again, you who could pray all through the night alone, there is a restoration. Because he said, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest. I prophesy, Lord, let supernatural pass on for you come upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the things of God become a priority in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. If I were you, after this break or after this session, it shouldn't be a time of unnecessary activity. Are you getting what I'm saying? Maximize this moment. I just have one more session with you and I'm off. Maximize this session. Find a corner. Some of you play worship sessions. Help them. Because some of you, even in your room, where you are staying this night, the power of God will be breaking out. You don't know what is happening in this camp. I came with you. Is an awakening. You will never recover from it. Never. No matter how stubborn and how hardened you are, you have come face to face with the king tonight. Let my king be. My name and the word of the Lord in First Corinthians chapter 4 and in verse 20 it says, The kingdom of God is not in word but in power. We believe the word of the Lord has come to you, not just in words by the servant of the Lord, Apostle Joshua Selman, but also in the manifest demonstration of the power of the Lord. We'd like you to do well to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell 
so as to stay in touch with the consistent uploads from Reflector Hub YouTube channel and also get to experience the demonstration of the power of the Lord. That as the word of the Lord comes to your life today, don't hesitate. Be a blessing, an extension of the power of the Lord to your family, to your friends, to your loved ones. Do well by sharing this video to every one of them and also bringing them into the light and the understanding of God's word that they also become partakers of this power. Thank you and God bless you.